Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and thanks for being here. I want to give a big shout out to all those mums out there. Happy Mother's Day from here, from the UK. Um, so I don't know whether you lot celebrate it on the same day we do. Um, so yeah, Happy Mother's Day. So this is because it was so popular last time and um, people really seem to enjoy it. It's what's your ex's karma. So uh, if it's not your reading, this one, there is another Exit Karma in the playlist. So card one, we have Today for Tomorrow. Card two, we have The Temple of My Body. That's really creepy, that card. <laughs> um, and card three, we have Obsession. So don't forget, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, don't force anything, and don't forget their energies as well, guys. Okay, so I see you at your piles. Hey Pile One, so if you chose today for tomorrow, so with this card, um, your ex and you could have had like a telepathic relationship. You may have even finished each other's sentences. Um, you may have fought alike, you know, because in this card they're actually twins if you look. Um, but what Spirit is saying is you know, obviously this is an ex, so you, you did choose that that road but sometimes maybe you you got pulled back to your ex you know they're picking up a lot of backwards and forwards here with pile one spirit wants you to know that you could either walk together with this person and put up with their darkness or you can walk alone okay you know you just need to let go of that hand because if you actually look at this card so i'm shaking if you actually look at this card okay she's not actually holding this twin's hand this twin is actually grabbing her wrist and being dragged along. So this is what I'm getting from this energy here, from your energy as well. So it's either do you want to keep getting pulled back in? Do you want to keep getting dragged down by this person? Or do you want to let go? I mean, it could even be, you know, you're still holding on to maybe pain and resentment for what this ex put you through. So let's have a look anyway, okay? We'll find out who this person is to you. If I can get the cards up. So Spirit, please take me into Pile One's energy. Um, take me into Pile One's energy. What's the karma of the ex? Actually, no, let's find out what did they, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Right, we've got two. <laughs> so we have the Four of Cups and we have Strength here. I want to get a few more, okay, guys? Let me see if you're in short. Actually, I keep doing that. Jesus, such a weird setup. Right, okay. <clears throat> so tell me a bit more about this X of Pile Ones. Ace of Wands. Tell me more about the X. Five of Wands. Nine of Wands. Uh, nine of Swords, sorry. Uh, two of Pentacles. Ones. Two, two, two. Okay, angel number two, 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 okay. Um, you can look it up, but <laughs> the reason I know so much about the two, two, twos is because I kept seeing them for ages. Like, it was just before I started the YouTube channel. My YouTube channel, well, obviously, my YouTube channel. But anyway, it means hard work. It means you've got to put a lot of work in to get the rewards out. Okay, there's going to be struggles. You know, it is a positive number, but there's there's a, a, a long road ahead and hard work. And I would actually say that that is actually kind of true because, you know, being on YouTube and doing this, you know, there is a lot of competition out there. Not many people like the content that I put out. You know, it is what it is. Um... So with this relationship here, what I'm seeing is with the 222 is that this was hard work. There was no, um, 
I don't think you even got a break with this person. I don't think there was a day that went by that you, you didn't just have peace, okay? You could have been dealing with a narcissist here, someone that was just hard work, you know? You know, I'm even picking up energy vampire. It's like they suck the energy, the life out of you because this person was so demanding. Now, you could have children with this person because there is a baby in the Ace of uh, Wands here. You could have had a child with this person. Um, so, anyway, we got Leo energy here. Oh, just Leo at the moment. So, the overall energy is the Two of Swords. So, let me have a look. I feel like this is exactly what I just said here, okay, with the Four of Cups. This person constantly was like a like a man-child or a, a woman-child. Constantly needed that attention, I don't know, reassurance. It was just, I'm just picking up this energy of constantly wanting your attention. And it could be, actually, if some of you, okay, take what resonates, some of you could have children with this person. It could be that... <laughs> This isn't so bad, I'm such a cow. This is actually like not even a child's face in this um card here, okay? It's actually like a like a grown up. So it could be that you are constantly having to mother this energy here, this ex, okay? So you were like their cheerleader, their biggest fan, if you know what I mean. They needed your constant reassurance, your constant praise, um, so instead of actually being their partner, you became their mother. I love this card as well, you know, because you've got the trees on top of her head. It reminds me very much of the Empress energy, this card. You know, it's like you held it all together. But I feel like you just got so fed up. So fed up. It was like your needs went un unnoticed okay i feel like whenever you needed their attention or their time this person just would just reject you you just became very unfulfilled this this connection became unfulfilling and then the argument started you tried to be strong you tried to make it work and you know and you you were plodding along and you were just hoping that it was going to get better but it wasn't getting better it was actually getting worse you know five of wands is constant bickering arguing um fights you know a lot of challenges a lot of obstacles were putting away in, in the way of this connection here you may have suffered with a you know, a bit of depression here, pile one. There was a lot of sleepless nights. There was a lot of worry. Um, you were stressed. I feel like this person made you feel, uh, you may have developed pile one anxiety through this ex here, okay? So even now I feel like you, you still don't, because you're not fully recovered, you, st you still haven't got over that anxiety. So, you know, it could be the little, littlest thing that would trigger you off. And you doubt yourself so much because of what this person's done with you. So it's like an inner battle. You 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 put yourself down, par one. You you're very hard on yourself, okay? You know, you try to you try to find balance in this connection, you try to even restore balance in this connection, but it just wasn't it just wasn't working. You know, there were, I feel like you had a lot of like multitasking here when it comes to this energy here. It could have even been if you did have kids, you're multitasking being a mum or a, or a dad to your partner as well as your children. But you had a lot going on. Now, you decided 
which this is what we're seeing with the today for tomorrow with the two of wands that I can't do this no more. I need to choose a different path. I need to walk away. And that's exactly what you did. Um, you were worried about it. You were stressed about it. Yeah, you know, we don't know what the future holds. So yeah, you were, I feel like you debated, you weighed your options, you um denied about it for a very long time, okay? Um, to leave this person but you did eventually leave them because obviously this is an ex okay so let me have a look tell me about the five of wands tell me about the five of wands people okay page of cups in reverse that says a lot like I said, you were dealing with a with a child, a grown up child here, pile one. You know, pages are usually young people, but they can also be emotionally immature. And I'm, this this person was very, oh god, that might sound so bad. I don't know why that just came into my head, but obviously spirit wants me to hear it. I just heard mummy issues, mummy issues, or mummy mummy's boy or girl. You know, you know that kind of person that has to run everything by their mother. This, this, <clears throat> throat. this ex of yours was so envious of you, so jealous of you. Why were they jealous? Tell me why they were jealous, spirit. Why? So we've got cats at Scorpio Pisces here. So why were they jealous? And this is what caused a lot of the arguments in your connection here, a lot of a lot of problems when it came to both of you. And I keep being drawn to this card here. It's like look at the look at the like I said, look at the tree, look at the uh, flowers in her hair, the torch. It was like something about you, pile one, they were very envious of. So let's have a look. What was it? Hierophant. Oh. Okay, let me turn these over. So we have the High Priestess. Hang on, that's in reverse, so that is Six of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Cups. Is that Ten of Cups? No, that's the Nine of Cups, sorry. Okay, with the Page of Cups as well being in reverse, that could be a cancelled event, okay? A cancelled party, a cancelled... Something was cancelled here. And now with the Hierophant here, it could have been a ceremony of some, some kind, okay? It could have even been a christening or something like that, but I'm picking up strong marriage, cancelled, like, wedding here. So my pile one, your ex, you could have actually been engaged to them to be married, but you cancelled the wedding because you started to notice how pathetic this ex was. Okay? You know, and if that's the case for some of you, good for you for seeing the red flags and getting out when you did and you didn't sign any papers and then getting into a relationship where you've got to go through all the divorce and the mess and all that crap that comes with it. Okay? So something was cancelled and I am seeing a wedding a commitment could have even been your commitment anyway so tell you what resonates here but they were so jealous of you i feel like the envy came from the fact that you were quite valued um spiritually here okay you were favored by your your guides here because we've got the high priestess and we've got the hierophant here so it could be that you had this special gift about you this aura about you pile one that they saw and they were leeching, this is what I said, energy vampire, they were leeching off of you, your energy, because they they wanted what you had. But you can't, you can't, that's just so stupid. You, you can't, um, I can um, phrase that the way I'm trying to get it out. It's in my head, but it's trying to get it out the mouth. Some people just have that aura about them okay there's something about certain people and you're drawn to them and I feel like that is what they wanted I 
Nah, six of cups in reverse. So, you know, your intuition was so strong here when it came to this page of cups, okay? So, so strong. Your intuition was telling you that this is not good for you. This is not healthy for you. Look at, look at the future that I'm going to actually have with this person. Can I actually put up with that? So what you did is you cancelled the event. You left the past behind and you moved on with the Six of Cups, okay? You're not even looking back at this person. Yes, you may have trauma from this person. Yes, you may still have hurt from this person. But you, you have you literally walked away from this person. We've got Taurus energy here as well, guys. You know, you at one time did see this person as your happiness and, you know, your joy and, you know, your wish coming true. But once reality set in and you started to see what they were really like, you were like, mm, no, I'm out. You noticed this person was very greedy, but I don't feel like greedy as in um, material, material things. Greedy for your energy, greedy for your time. Yeah, forward movement, look. Chariot as well. So we've got Cancer energy again. So strong water sign here. Yeah, with the chariot here, you you were off. You took off. I know it sounds so bad. I feel like maybe even some of you may have just up and left without telling this person. Um, yeah. You you move forward. You're starting a journey on your own now. Some of you could be in another relationship, but so, so spirit, come on, tell me what did they actually do to hurt the? What did Pile One's ex do to hurt them? The hangman in reverse. Okay. Hmm. The energy here just literally um, was so disinterested in anything to do with you. And that's what I said at the beginning. It's like if you needed time with them or you needed their support emotionally, whatever, they had no time for you. They were disinterested. They did not give a toss, basically. There was no... There was no care here, like, you know, that um, that love that you, you're supposed to have for your partner, you know? So tell me more. Okay, you're just flying out here. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Um, three of Swords. That's heartbreak. Okay. And then the Ten of Swords on the back of the deck. Hmm. You know, upright, the Ten of Pentacles is guaranteed, okay? It's a, it's a beautiful card. It's committing to the person that you love. It's building a life together. It's starting a family, you know. It's generational wealth, but obviously in reverse, this wasn't actually guaranteed. It was, it was a rocky foundation, okay? It was... You wasn't going to find any security with this person. And what is really nice about you guys, my pal one, I feel like most of you lot are actually over this, but you could just be here just to be curious about why, you're, you know, what's going to happen to your ex, you know, as we all do. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the three of swords in reverse is letting go, leaving it behind. You know, it could even be you're, you're now finally overcoming the grief and the pain that this person caused you. And I feel like this was a, a lot to do with emotional abuse, okay? With your pile. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> How about ten pentacles in reverse? Oh my goodness. 
There's three of cups in reverse. The full. King of, uh, the Knight of Pentacles. Six of Swords and the Page of Wands. And then the Three of Cups. Yeah, strong water sign here, guys. <laughs> this is what I said at the beginning. This was someone that lacked emotional maturity. They were just so immature with the Queen of Cups in reverse here. And this was someone, okay. And do you know what? Thank you, Spirit, for actually confirming that with the Queen of Cups in reverse. This is exactly what I said at the beginning. This is somebody that was so needy. The Queen of Cups in reverse is so needy, okay? They get very sulky when they don't get what they want or when things are not going their way and they'll sulk and then they'll, there'll be an atmosphere in the room. Um, and then you would try and, you know, fix fix it, make them feel better because you did, obviously didn't want that kind of atmosphere, you know, but that, that is like an energy vampire as well. I've been in a situation exactly like that and it is so draining, so draining. This person was so smothering as well, you know, but I don't mean smothering as in loving you or anything like that, but just just up in, up in your business all the time, just wanting you there all the time but when you needed them they were never there and then when this energy here this ex of yours wasn't getting their way or things weren't going their way they would become very very spiteful okay they'd lash out with their words And you know what's really lovely seeing the fall here? This it keeps coming up, keeps coming up in this reading. You literally took a leap of faith and you walked away from this person, okay? You took a chance and you were excited about the future. You know, you could have been separated from this person for quite a while now. It could have been, you know, a couple of years or it could have taken you a couple of years to get, you know, become brave enough to leave this person. And with the Six of Swords here, this is beautiful to see as well because you literally left your troubles behind. That is all behind you now. I mean, if you actually look at the card, they're facing away, okay? You're floating in your balloon away that way. <laughs> you know, this this is behind you. Even the Fool is looking back like, haha, but you're walking this way, okay? You know, some of you could have gone back to school. You may have been told that you couldn't, you know, study you couldn't do anything with your career here some of you could have gone back to school you could be studying you know just you know learning again okay it could even be just be learning all over again by yourself you know understanding yourself um but you are feeling very you yeah you are feeling very passionate about the future here you know you're making new friends here you even have it, it could be a new friendship group or it could be old friends here that are supporting you and sub celebrating you, you know, and they're there for you. This could even be family that are there for you, okay? So let's get their karma, pile one. Um, okay, let's use these ones. So spirit. Yeah, you're dealing with an energy vampire here, guys. Let me just have a drink. All right, so Spirit, tell me what is Pile One's Exes Karma, please. Okay, people. Oh, the devil. What a surprise. Capricorn energy. Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, their karma is... <laughs> judgment says it all, really. Because this person, I feel like this this ex of yours had codependency issues with you, okay? Like I said, mummy issues. It was like they didn't see you as a partner. They saw you as a mother or a father. And I'm sorry I keep saying mother, but, you know, I don't know. Just slip of the tongue. But they are energies, okay? I do apologise to my uh, male subscribers that are watching. <laughs> um, so, yeah. 
they had codependency issues when it came to you. It's like this, this cling on. Now, this person developed some very toxic, uh, toxic habits. It could have been even, you know, could have been drugs, could have been alcohol, but I'm picking up more. It was, they wanted control of you, of the way you fought, the way you went, what you did, you know, look at the way it's holding out the hand here as well. So yeah, this this devil energy. Hmm. This person is very envious of you. But now the tables are turned here. I've, this doesn't sound very nice, okay? We don't wish bad things on people here, you know, we really don't. But I feel like their karma at the moment is they've they've developed some kind of addiction. Okay? This addiction may have started off small, but it's getting out of hand now. It's starting to grow into something very big here. And their, their, their karma is their finances are going to suffer. They are single. They're not with anybody at the moment. You know, they were doing well for themselves financially, but it could be they, they look like they're going to end up um, struggling here with the Nine of, uh, nine of Pentacles. This is somebody that lacks independence. They do, they just, this energy, Jesus, honestly. Their security could be uh, suffering at the moment. I want to know about this devil. What is this addiction, spirit? This is part of their karma. What? Thank you. Six of Cups, again, in reverse. Tell me about the Six of Cups in reverse. Queen of Swords. Page of Wands. Seven of Cups. Mm, just bear with me, guys. Queen of Swords, oh, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person, this ex of yours, has had this addiction for quite a long time now. Okay, and it is getting out of hand here. They're trying to leave it behind. They're trying to walk away from it. But I'm picking up stubborn energy here, and they're trying to block out the pain. And it could be the pain of losing you. Okay. This person has, um, I wouldn't say commitment issues. They may have commitment issues now as part of their karma, but this person is, um, the sex of yours is, they, they like to abuse people, okay? And that's why the devil's here as well. They... Every partner they get, they end up abusing them. And it's like they get this um, kick out of it, okay? What I'm seeing here. They get pleasure from putting the person in their place. They think they're above everybody here with the Queen of Swords, you know? Um, and they're so unfeeling about, you know, they can see what they're doing to their partner, okay? But there's just... This person hasn't got a heart. It's like they're, I'm going to sound so bad, but they're dead inside is what I'm picking up from this energy here. And I'm just picking up part of their karma here is because they've, 
done this to people and they've done this to you, um, with the Seven of Cups here, you know, it's having options or multiple options and, you know, I can't decide and... I'm picking up a lost energy here now. It's like they don't, they, they're not finding their way. They're not able to find that fix that they need um, when it comes to abusing someone. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Some people get pleasure out of actually being cruel to people. I don't know whether you've ever come across people like that, but if this is your power and you, you understand what I'm saying, this is what I'm picking up here. This person is finding it hard now to get their fix. And that could be their addiction here as well. Their addiction is getting out of control. They like that control. They like that toxic environment here. They like to control their person. But I feel like people are starting to notice the red flags now. So tell us more about this uh, Power One's Exist Karma, please, Spirit. Oh, what a pile. The world. This is somebody that's going to lack any um, achievements here. Um, they're going to be stuck. And this is what I'm saying. They, they're feeling stuck. Tell us more about this world. What's their karma? And I feel like... Oh, God. I feel like this person's prowling online now. And they've got quite a lot of, pe a, a lot of women or men um, on the go here. Okay, because it's like online. This is communication here. And the world is all about online and, you know, the internet. They're going to, yeah, look, the Eight of Swords, they're not, it's not working for them this time. They're not finding, I know this kind of sounds kind of creepy and a bit crazy, but they're not finding a you, okay? And that doesn't, I'm not, I'm not putting you down, Pile One, but there was this, like I said, this thing about you guys, okay? That was just, just your aura, you're like the Empress, okay? And you have a kind heart and this person took advantage of that and they're finding it very hard now to find that certain someone that's a lot like you. Do you get me? You know, we've got the Queen of Cups here. You're, you're beautiful inside and out. That's what the Queen of Cups is. She is a sweetheart. She's very loving and kind and very giving. And this is what you did. You gave, you gave, you gave, you gave and they took. You know, you're... You, your intuition is always spot on. We've had the High Priestess as well. They're about to experience a big downfall here. A big hit. I think it's a big hit of karma coming because they're not learning their lessons. They're doing it to other people here as well. Eight of Swords is an awful card in the Tarot deck, okay? It is feeling trapped inside your head. Like your thoughts, your emotions are all over the place. You're a mess. You're depressed, you can't, you know, concentrate on anything. But this is not your energy, this is them. And this is part of their karma. And I feel like because they put you in the energy of the Eight of Swords at one stage, you know, that you're feeling trapped and feeling worthless. This is their karma now, okay? There's a tower moment about to happen. They're going to have a big wake-up call here from Spirit. Let's find out what that is. Tell me about the tower, please. Tell me about the tower. Three of Wands. Oh, I'm such a cow. I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> oh, but I do love karma. I do love it. Um, especially for the people that actually do deserve it. Okay. I'm sorry. Hate me. Whatever. I don't care. That's how I feel. So, this person, your ex, <laughs> is looking for that someone okay we've got the two of cups they're looking for that soulmate they're yearning they're they're pleading they're they're hoping spirit is saying a big wake up call here for them is that you're going to keep waiting okay you're going to keep waiting you're not going to meet your soulmate here
yeah, this person's delusional. This is, spirit has literally clipped this person's wings. That sounds so bad to say that out loud, but literally I'm just seeing spirit, their, spirit literally clipping their wings. Um, so let's get some messages from, you know, this energy here to you. And then we'll get some more karma cards. So what would this ex like to say to my part one? Thank you. Cheating. My person made me cut you off. I got caught. So they could have been cheating in the relationship that you uh, was not aware of. You know, I didn't see that. I didn't. But I was picking up more on their... their uh, them as a person okay their personality here so they could have been cheating um mm, it could be that they're part of their karma here as well is that if they are because with the seven of cups here with the multiple options and i said they've got quite a few people on the go here they may have got caught with that okay and they're telling you that they're cheating now this person's a lost a lost soul Immature, I ghosted you because I wanted to teach you a lesson. So this is what I was saying at the beginning with this energy here that they were so Im immature that they could be quite spiteful, okay? So I do feel like they st stonewalled you a lot when um, they were getting one of their moods, you know? May have disappeared for days as well, guys, and you may not have heard from them. Deception, I lied to you so much trying to impress you, I realised it was easier to ghost you than to tell you the truth. So, this energy here did a lot of lying and, you know, ignore the ghosting bit there, okay guys? Because I'm using these cards for, you know, because I want to use these cards. Um, so I feel like they impressed you at the beginning of the connection, you know, but once they got their hooks into you, it was all a load of BS, basically, okay? And this person couldn't tell the truth. And that is the Page of Cups. Page of Cups in reverse is immature. I need some inner child healing before I can cultivate any kind of relationship. No shite, Sherlock. Bloody hell. Yeah, they do. So, let me get some of these. Oh, God. <clears throat> I have trouble with intimacy, which, yeah, we could put, point that out there. But, yeah, I'm not going to say it again. So many things remind me of you. That's part of their karma. Oh, God, my throat keeps going. It's, it's like this energy's affecting my throat chakra. But anyway, I will get it at. This, um, oh no, I forgot what I was going to say, for God's sake. Right, okay, that's what I was going to say. Like I said, you guys would be there and you were like a mother to this person, okay? You, you had that empathy and that kindness, you know, you're the Queen of Cups. Um, you're the high priestess, but when it came to you, this person couldn't show it. I need you sexually is what they want to say. Okay. Unblock me. So you can have them unblock, guys, which I really don't blame you. I love you. And if I could, I would come over right now. I'm sure they would. Oh, and I watch you on social media. I'm involved with someone, but I'm thinking of you. Yeah, I think uh, they're involved with multiple someones. So let's get some karma cards here. So what is their karma spirit? Thank you. They will lose their home. 
They may develop acne, not that you can see that because it's in like right, and in yellow, what a knob. But anyway. Car trouble, car to totaled. So could be experiencing car trouble. This no wishes will be coming true, and that's what I said about I can see spirit clipping their wings, okay? Um now I am gonna say, okay. This energy is not, not one of my worst, okay? They're not. They have a lot of issues, and those issues run deep, and they need to sort it out. But until they sort it out, they're going to just keep getting their karma here. But I, I really don't believe this person can sort it out. It's like they're in denial. Something will be stolen from them. We're not be able to connect to anyone emotionally, and there it is again, guys. They cannot. They've got that. They they are emotionally stunted here, and they need to they need to fix that by dealing with their shadow self or their inner child. And I feel like you tried to help them fix them, but you can't fix people. You know, they're losing friends. People don't like their energy. So I'll get a couple more, which I don't like this energy neither, guys. So I think you were the only one that did really like them. They're going to experience rejection. And they're going to experience ghosting by lovers or friends here. So my pile one, I'm going to leave it there. That was a really long read <laughs> for you guys, but it was very interesting. So if you like this video please hit like it really um helps and um you have a lovely day and i'll see you soon hey pile two so if you chose the temple of my body oh my pile twos it's always my twos in these readings um with my calm calm little calmer ones um so your ex here could have had like succubus energy here okay but with this card it is speaking of that this ex of yours would be so demeaning when it came to your body your appearance the way they th there was no respect for you okay they may have uh, so a bit of a trigger warning here it may have made you do things in the bedroom that you didn't want to do okay and if this is upsetting please don't watch it um this person could have maybe not even had any respect for their body they may have ended up going out and putting it about you know giving it to other people so i'm even picking up like stds okay so yeah i this energy is not i don't like it i don't like it at all but let's have a look Tell us more about this uh, ex of pile twos, please, spirit. Thank you. Strength and justice. Karma. There we go. Tell us more about... Tell us more about... Um, oh, my goodness me. Okay. So we have... I'm going to put it over there. Make sure it's in shot. Sort of. Okay. So we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Three of Swords, we have the Empress, and in reverse we have Seven of Cups. And the energy is the Four of Pentacles. So we've got Libra energy here, guys, and Leo as well. Wow. So obviously there was a breakup here because this is what's their, what's your ex's karma. I feel like there was a lot of cheating in this connection with your partner, with the three of swords being here. Okay. Um. 
I feel like with the strength card as well because I see that as a sexual card um sex you know it's all about the body okay this energy here had I feel like maybe a sex addiction and they've they're, they're definitely receiving karma here for this, okay? This is karmic justice stepping in, taking over, because, you know, the injustice that was done to you guys, Pole 2. Okay, you invested so many years with this person here. You've built a family with them. You have children with this person. This is very strong children energy here. We've got the Empress as well as the Ten of Cups. Okay, so you built a life with this person, and this person backstabbed you by having multiple affairs. I don't even think it was one. I feel like it was multiple, okay? They broke your heart. The Divine Feminine here, the Empress, is a mother. She's caring, she's kind, she's loyal. You know, you would do anything. You would bend over backwards for the people that you love. But they took advantage of this. And I feel like this is why Spirit stepped in and thought, no, enough's enough now. You know, you you finally saw this person for what it was. It your you know, it was like reality slapped you in the face, pile two. You know, all you wanted was things to change, okay? You had this desire of them what you wanted them to change, but they couldn't change, okay? You were you were desiring for a, a proper commitment with this person you know security with them but they didn't give that to you tell me about this three of swords thank you we have hang on what is that six of pentacles yeah they just took they just took all the time and the queen of wands in reverse says a lot there queen of wands in reverse that's a scene of someone that is very promiscuous, that, that that has no respect for their body, okay, they will just go out there, put it about, don't really care about how, you know, how it would affect you. So we've got um, Aries Leo Sagittarius here. Yeah, this, you know, Six of Pentacles is all about equal give and take, okay? This energy here was given to other people. Tell us more about this uh, Three of Swords. Six of Swords. Yeah, you you left this person behind. Three of Pentacles, third party. Yes, it's seen, it is seen as collaboration, you know, and work. And but this is also... You know, with this kind of reading, it's seen as them talking to other people, okay? It could have even been an office affair that they even had at one stage, you know, but there was multiple people here. You literally have sailed off into the sunset here with the Six of Swords. You've left this energy behind, which obviously you have because it's an X. So tell us more about this X of Pile 2. We have the Chariot in reverse. Actually, hang on, wait a minute. Chariot in reverse and the two of pentacles in reverse. So this uh, energy could be experiencing car trouble, okay? It could be that maybe even you were the one that, that you know, may have supported them and paid for their car and what have you, but they are experiencing car trouble at the moment. Um, I'm, I know it sounds really silly for a reading like this, but there's a lack of, uh, a lack of movement here with this, it's like they're stuck. This person has no self-control with the, the chariot being in reverse. No self-control, no sense of direction, direction in life. They're very forceful when it comes to their opinions or like being right. Do you get me? Um... This is someone that is definitely experiencing a lot of failed plans. Things have put falling through for them. <laughs> I 
and the two of pentacles being in reverse okay this is somebody that has um because of their poor decisions that they've made in this connection here there is no balance in their life at the moment things are actually a big mess for them everything is going wrong and this is very weird okay because i'm trying to find out about this energy here okay we've already got what they did now spirit has already shown me their karma so this person's experiencing some karma right at the moment here they're having a lot of sleepless nights they're not sleeping well, obviously i said sleepless nights there's a lot of uh, grief here. Their mental health could be suffering here. They could be suffering with anxiety. They are very stressed at the moment. So let's find out why their life is a bit in topsy turvy here. So tell me about two of pentacles in reverse. Seven of pentacles. Oh. Nine of Cups in reverse. We do. If this energy had a business, okay, they've made some very bad, bad choices when it comes to that bad business plans here. Uh, they've done something that has messed them up. Now, everything is upside down. It could even be that maybe if you did go for a divorce, if you were with this person and they've got to pay you or they've lost some money here or what have you, it's put them in a bit of a, a hole here, okay? Um, this is somebody that is actually experiencing pure devastation at the moment. Like, their dreams is is... Their dreams are not coming true. Tell us about this I, uh, Nine of Cups place in reverse. Page of Cups. Tell us about this Nine of Cups in reverse. It's because they're, they're Six of Wands in reverse. Tell me more about this Nine of uh, cups death <laughs> i was wondering if that was going to come out the devil i hope you can see that the emperor the tower yeah this person's experiencing some major tower moments at the moment with work it's their karma's the it's affecting their job or their business here this is somebody that is so naive. They think they know it all. They may even be a grown-ass man or woman, but they are so, that's saying, young and dumb or just dumb, okay? Very uh, immature here with the Page of Cups. We've got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. We've got Scorpio here. We've got Capricorn here. <laughs> um, and Libra is quite strong as well and cancer oh dear this someone's failed I feel like their business has failed you may not even be aware of this uh, pole two but their business has failed here so I was going to go into the karma, what the, what is their karma, but literally spirit is like, no, let's let's do this now. Like literally the top row there was what had happened between you two. So they are experiencing tower moments here. Look, their foundation that, you know, that something that they built, they thought was solid. It was rocky. It's come tumbling down. They've made some business, uh, bad business choices here. Okay, they could have even got involved with someone at work and may have lost their job. You know, it could have been an office affair. It could have been, you know, I'm picking up that quite strongly, actually. I'm going to clarify that card. So things have come to an end. They've lost something. They've either lost their business or they've lost their job. And this is because this person is the devil. They are controlling. They are a narcissist. They think they're always right. 
um, this person has been getting away with doing this to people for so long. They don't care who they stab in the back, how they treat people, as long as they're satisfied. You know, because the Nine of Cups is also seen as a greedy energy, okay? So this energy here could have been... Um, I said at the beginning, this person, I feel like it's got a sex addiction, okay? They're addicted to the flesh. You know, the emperor here is somebody's boss as well. I feel like they overstepped a boundary at work. Why is this coming through quite strong? It could have even been a friend here that they did this to. And this may be why everything has come crumbling down. It could have even been a business partner here that they uh, did something behind their back here and the, the emperor found out. Because this is somebody in authority, okay? This is not the devil and this is not the page of cups energy. This is not your ex. They're not in authority, okay? They think they are, but they're not. So I need to know, tell me a Tell me about the Tower and the Three of Pentacles, Spirit. Tell me about the Tower and the Three of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Tell me about the Tower and the Three of Pentacles. Queen of Wands again. It's exactly what I just said. They did something with, um, look, even the Hermit on the back of the deck. They did something at work that they shouldn't have done they've lost their job here okay or it could have if they're in a business with someone and they did the deed with their business partner's partner they've they've lost everything here because of their promiscuous ways or their cheating here i mean for some of you you could have actually told this emperor you know you may have found out about an office affair and you may have actually gone to the em the boss and told them which you know, kudos to you. Why not? So, yeah, Queen of Wands. They did something with this Queen of Wands at work. Um, and they were... Oh, hang on. They had the blinkers on here with the Two of Swords. The Lovers. Wow, thanks for clarifying it here. Spirit, thank you. Gemini, Aquarius. You know, this energy here is a is a master manipulator, okay? We've even got the devil here. But I feel like they were dealing with a master manipulator when they were cheating as well. So I feel like they met their match here. And they were blinded by the flesh. I'm trying to say it like that so it don't get, you know, demonetized and all that stuff that comes with it. So they were blinded by the flesh here. They didn't um they didn't stop to think before they they got involved with this person here with the Queen of Wands. You know, and then we've got the lovers here. This was somebody that they they chose that they shouldn't have been involved with here. And, you know, with the star, it's, um, you know, it's a healing energy. It's also a manifestation. It's all your dreams coming true. Yes, it is. And I feel like this person felt like this, that this was the one. But I feel like they met their match with the Queen of Wands. I feel like the Queen of Wands um, fooled them. Okay. Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers here. Tell me about the lovers. Ace of Wands. The Hermit. The Hierophant. Yeah, this person was married. This person was already in a committed relationship, just like your ex was in a committed relationship. Okay, they were doing this in the dark, in secret, okay? It may have been going on for a very long time, but yeah, it was kept secret for a very long time. There was a lot of sexual passion between these two, okay? Your person, your ex was actually thinking with their wand, okay? Even if it's female, it don't matter, you know, their bits, okay? 
Um, so yeah, there was a lot of sexual chemistry here, but you, they were both, both of these people were committed to other people here. Tell me about the Six of Cups. This got Taurus energy as well. Got Virgo energy as well. So we're literally near enough got all the bloody star signs. Five, yeah, outside. Okay, I feel like your ex, okay, what I'm picking up here is you knew this person for a very long time and so did they. So this actually could have been a childhood friend of yours even or you became friends and you were friends for a long time, okay? So it could have been like a foursome that you'd go out and you'd do things together, okay? This is who they got involved with. You know, we've got the five of ones here. This is outside influences. This is people coming in and affecting the connection here. You know, this, this can be a rival in love, which it obviously is. Yeah, this was a rival in love. Tell me about this tower. They had, yeah, the tower, they had to, um, they had to leave. I feel like they were told to leave the the job that they were in. Um, and they also had to leave this connection, maybe, that they were already in with this Queen of Wands. But I feel like maybe the Queen of Wands walked away from them. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Ooh. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Hangman in reverse, ten of wands, no, ten of swords, sorry, four of cups, ace of cups, uh, ace of coins, sorry, in reverse, and the knight of coins, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like the Queen of Wands, uh, once it came out, walked away from this person here, your ex, okay? They lost interest in them with the hangman in reverse, okay? Uh, they saw this as the ultimate betrayal, like, how can you betray me? How dare you? Not looking at the fact that they actually betrayed you, my part too. This, the audacity of this energy here is like, how can you do that to me? You've rejected me. I feel rejected. I'm lonely. I'm sad with the Four of Cups. So they got rejected themselves, okay? And then we've got the Ace of Coins. They lost their job. This is the Ace of Coins in reverse. They lost their job. They lost their security because they fought with their privates. They're lacking in funds. There's just no opportunities coming to this energy anymore. It, and they're trying to build themselves back up. They're trying to, to, you know, trying to, I don't know, find balance in their life again, maybe find a new job, but it's taking too long. It's not, they're not able to move, move on quickly or, you know, build up their finances quickly because they messed up. So let's get um, some karma now. So spirit wise, this energy is karma. Even though we've seen quite a lot of karma for this person uh, already. Hang on, guys. That should not be in there. Okay. So what is... Hello. <laughs> so what is Paul 2's ex's karma for her in them?
the Emperor in reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse. And the Nine of Swords again. Hmm. So this is somebody that they're, they're uh, the reason they're ex experiencing karma is because this is somebody that abused their power. Okay, they abused the position they they were given, and that is to do with the job here. Okay, they abused their power when it came to you, when it came to other people. They thought they were Mister or Mrs. High and Mighty here, but they've been knocked off their pedal stool now. This is somebody that has. Uh, they, they can't seem to make a decision, okay? They're very confused at the moment. This is somebody that um, is very weak. Could be feeling weak at the moment. You know, we've got the Eight of Swords as well. Could be feeling drained emotionally, physically. And this is part of their uh, karma. Um, you know, and this is because of their controlling ways, you know? They like to control the narrative. They like to control other people. And it's like they get this thrill out of doing that. And they want to get out of this prison. They really want to be released from, you know, the restrictions that have been put on them. Um, but Spirit's like, no, I'm sorry. No, not at the moment, not till you learn your lesson. Tell me more about this uh, and X's karma for hurting pile two. So you, they have been experiencing tower moments. You know, you may not even be aware of it. You may have thought they, they rode off into the sunset and lived happily ever after, but no, they didn't. Justice in reverse, one karma again. Two justice, one upright, one reversed. This is because of the injustice that was caused, that they caused you. This is karma that is kicking their butt. I feel like part of their karma is as well, they could be in a legal battle at the moment. They could, uh, that it's a separation, obviously we've seen that and it could be the karma is that you have divorced this person um, you're taking back your power, okay? Um, it could also be that um, I feel like they've got no spiritual protection at the moment from their spiritual team. I feel like the spiritual team is so upset with them. I was going to use disgusted, but you know, I think that's a bit pretty strong word. Tell me about justice in reverse. Tell me about this karma. Justice in reverse. We've already had the Two of Pentacles. Page of Wands in reverse. This is somebody that is going through a lot of multitasking at the moment. It could be even working two jobs or multiple jobs here to try and make ends meet here, okay? Um, this is someone that is experiencing this is what just keeps coming out experiencing delays ex experiencing many setbacks here when it comes to work it seems to be their finances that are affected as well as their work so what else is their karma here spirit I mean they could be getting sued you know Knight of Pentacles again. It's taking them so long to find work here or to find a decent paying job here. The Hangman in reverse. Did we, we got the hangman in reverse. This has come out twice this year. Look, there and there.
Yeah, they're okay. at a standstill. There's no forward movement for this person. So let me get some um, messages from this energy here to, you know, let's see what they want to say, and then I'll get some more karma cards. So we have immature. I was trying to impress my friends by showing them I didn't care, I didn't want to appear weak to them. Um, that's just like the page of cups that came out. So, you know, it, it was all about... It could be, you know, that this person, maybe if they went out with mates and stuff, it would be like, look at me pull this bird or look at me pull this bloke, you know. Sorry, I'm saying it like a right English person. <laughs> I hope you understood what I said. Pull this girl or pull this man. I'll try and speak properly. <laughs> I do try. Immature. We've had immature twice. I was testing you to see if you would chase me. I wanted to see if you liked me as much as I liked you. Now I regret my actions. So forget the bit at the bottom. Um, I feel like this energy thought you were actually going to go running back. That's how big-ended they are, though. Narcissist. This is normal behaviour for me. Must allow me to get away with it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. And that is the problem. We've got the devil energy, which is, you know, can be a narcissist. And this is a very strong narcissism in this reading is because... They got, you know, it could have been that you forgive this person so many times about affairs. And this is what they're saying here. This is normal for me. This is what I'm saying. This person has no respect for the flesh. Okay. Something you said made me feel rejected. I'll reject it. I'll boohoo. Whatever. Jeez. I hope you said... A lot pile too. <laughs> Such a cow. They're heartbroken. But do you know what? Don't don't listen to this energy here coming through with their higher self with I'm heartbroken. They're not actually heartbroken over losing you though. They're heartbroken about the, with the fact that they got caught cheating with somebody at work. Okay, and that this person walked away from them. Now they're struggling financially as well. So it could have even been that you were the one that was, you know, the one that had the, the better income. So, oh, gold. <laughs> Please stay away from this energy, okay? Guys, stay away from this ex of yours. I need you sexually. That says a lot about this whole reading. I am lying, which, yeah, liar, liar, bombs on fire. <laughs> Sorry, I'm such a child. I'm dying for, I'm dying for you just to touch me. <laughs> Sorry. You must really don't even know what I'm laughing at, but never mind. Isn't <laughs> Unless you guys are actually laughing right now because I've actually got the giggles all of a sudden. Like, this is just, like, really silly. <laughs> Dumb. <sighs> Breathe. Let's get a few more here. You're hooked on me like a drug. <laughs> they like to please stop making me laugh. Oh, dear. Yeah, they, they, this person's got such a big head. They feel like you are hooked on them, like, you know, but it's, it's, it's them projecting. It's actually the other way around. Sorry, I'm going to put them down because they're just making me laugh. Okay, let's see what their karma is. What's, um, Paul 2's ex's karma? Ooh, brief. What did I say? Legal issues with the justice in reverse. They're going to feel used. People will stab them in the back. They will be put into a third party situation. Look at that. Look at all three of those cards there. This is somebody that literally is receiving the same karma that they caused you and other people, this emperor here as well. I don't think it's just you. And I said at the beginning, STDs, did I not? People hate their energy.
no doors will open for this person and this is what we keep seeing in this reading okay is that doors are actually close to them so i feel like the emperor that they did this to this is emperors of the emperor in the tarot deck is someone very powerful someone very high up respected okay so if this this ex of yours did this to this emperor and they have um oh what's the word they have a uh, people in high up places that they know they could stop this person from actually getting a job in their field so now they're having to look elsewhere and do something different here this is why i said that um i feel like they've got multiple jobs here you know maybe a couple of jobs here so i feel like doors have been closed to this this uh, ex of yours they're going to be used for their money we're not be able to forget you that's part of their karma and their dam damage to their property so it could be maybe you know they may end up peeing off the wrong person and someone damages their property there so part two i'm going to leave it there my lovelies okay and you have a wonderful day hit like if you like the video and i'll see you soon bye hey pile three so if you chose this card obsession so with this card here, um, you were dealing with an ex here that had a, a, a obsession with something or someone. It even could have been with you, okay? I mean, I'm on about obsessed, obsessed here that like, you know, if it was to do with you, I'm just picking up very controlling energy with this card, okay? They didn't want you out of their sight. I mean, it could even be to do with... Uh, other things as well you know like addictions and things like that but we'll look at that and i got out your tarot cards and this was stuck in between them which was very weird because i thought hmm, you shouldn't even be there you should be in another box but it actually says the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn okay so you've got two cards there now obviously this is an x reading so you know, you may be going through a hard time at the moment, um, you know, but Spirit wants you to know that that tough cycle is about to uh, end, okay? It could be that because you, you've had to start again, but we'll look into it, okay? So Spirit, tell me about this X and this obsession here with my pile three. Thank you. Come on, blimey. And that flew out. Let's have a look. So, let's take that as the first one. So we've got the hangman. Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, no, Six of Cups, sorry, Page of Pentacles and Seven of Wands. Let me just get a couple more. Tell me about this obsession and X, please, Spirit. Queen of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Three of Cups. Just bear with me, okay? So we've got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very strong Earth sign and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Oh, and Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So we've basically got them all, okay? <laughs> all, the, all the signs. Um, This energy here had an obsession with money, money, wealth, status. And I feel like you were with this ex of yours for a very long time, okay? You built a life together. You've built up a financial abundance here 
um, that you can actually pass on to your children and you know and so forth okay you work very hard for this you put in a lot of a lot of effort it could have been both of you but this is what this uh it was like this this could be the obsession okay with this energy here it became so obsessive that it was never enough they needed to do more they needed more they needed more that's all i'm hearing you know you could have children with this person ten of pentacles is children and family six of pent uh, six of cups as well And you know what's so very sad here? You are all about the love, okay? You you really did love this ex of yours, okay? You you did. That's what I'm seeing here. You were all about the love and the happiness, okay? This person was all about the business and the and the coin. And they'd been doing this for so many years as well. It's like they just was built, they built this up for so many years. And it was like, it become an obsession. Pfft, hence the obsession card. And I feel like every time you try to maybe tell this person to take a break, or maybe spend time with the family, maybe spend time with you, stop neglecting the family, they would be very stubborn about it and wouldn't budge on, you know, finding balance within the connection here. So their obsession was the coin. The obsession was the wealth here. So tell us more about Palfrey's exes, Spirit. What did they do? Ace of Wands. The Empress. The Emperor. Tell me more. What did they do? Yeah. You know, the Empress is divine masculine, so this can be someone's husband or wife. It doesn't matter their energies. And this was your partner. You know, you, you held a lot of passion for this person. I feel like you admire this person at one stage, you know. But, you know, the Emperor can become quite obsessive, very controlling, um, can be quite... Uh, no, not quite. The Emperor can be very... Uh, what's the word? They can abuse their power, okay. This could have been someone that's very powerful, you know, but they abused that. I feel like because they felt like you were always going to be there. Yeah, look, they they gave you like small doses, okay? They gave you like little crumbs um, instead of giving you the attention that you needed, you know, in this connection with this ex here. It's like maybe they would say, okay, um, we'll do something tomorrow, but then the next day they wouldn't do it. They'd come up with a reason why they couldn't do it because work got in the way. So it was always like empty promises with this emperor here. Tell us more about what this emperor did to Paul Free, please, spirit. Put you in the Nine of Swords literally put you in the nine of swords feeling depressed feeling lonely neglected you know you worrying about i suppose where this connection was going to go um a lot of sleepless nights a lot of anxiety here tell us about the nine of swords tell us about the nine of swords oh my goodness spirit come on Okay, we'll take those ones. So we've got the Six of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you know what? It, it took you, it made you, um, it took a lot of courage for you to leave this person, okay? You know, you, you did, you left it behind. It was like you, you wanted something totally different, okay? You wanted someone to actually be there emotionally for you. You know, physically and emotionally. You know, what you got instead was somebody that was very standoffish, someone that was very cold. Um, did 
this person could be, you know, they lacked empathy at times. They could be quite cruel as well. I suppose they'd lash out and become verbally abusive towards you if you were to voice that, you know, you know, please, can you spend a bit more time with me? I'm feeling neglected. So, yeah, this is why I'm on about this person abused their power. I feel like they actually became very critical as well. You know, maybe they were criticising you and your job. Maybe you had a little thing going on and they were very critical about this, you know. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Oh my God, my dog's on one. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Let's have the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you've let go of the regret here. Yeah, but you've let go of the regret, okay? You've let go of all the sadness now and, you know, what they couldn't provide you or, or, or to give, you know, what they couldn't give you here, which was this emotional uh, fulfillment here, okay? You let it go. You knew it was like a, like a fighting a losing battle, basically. Tell us more about this X here with pole freeze. Eight of cups in reverse. This was you being very fearful of moving on at one stage. And, you know, like I said, I feel like you found that courage with the six of swords. You did, you found the courage to move on and leave it behind. Turn about the eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, look, you ended it. You've, you overcame those fears, okay? You overcome the worry of leave, leaving your emperor behind, but you knew it was it was the best thing to do for you, okay? You've even transformed as a person now. You know what you want, Pole Free, you know. Anything else we need to add? Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Just more about this extra pile phrase. Just go with me. I just want to clarify that card. Just more. This person regrets, regrets it all. They do. I don't, I don't, this energy is not bad. It's just that they become so obsessed with money and status and building up their coin here. They still yearn for you, okay, pile free. They do, they still look at what could have been, what, what I could have done differently here. So yeah, they do still pine after you here with the Five of Cups as well. This is somebody that's in grief, um, that still yearns for you, you know, still regrets, still regrets losing you, you know, trying to recover from the loss of this connection here. And I do feel like, Palfrey, you did really, really try to communicate with this emperor here and tell them how you felt, but you just you just kept getting brushed off. And I do feel like the emperor did get a bit, um, a bit, a bit of a, become a bit of a bully towards you. Anything else we need to know about this ex? Nine of cups, yeah, greed. Three of cups and the five of wands. They become very greedy. This is what this was. This was greed. Okay, it was never enough. They couldn't find balance, okay, in their 
relationship with you as well as their job there was just no balance there okay just become greed um i feel like they were never home as well pole free i feel like they were out with other people all the time you know celebrating having dinners drinks you know and i feel like you you wasn't invited you were neglected so i am picking up a big neglect here and this started to become a problem in your relationship here you know outside influences were causing a problem but this is what the emperor calls themselves they allowed the outside influences to affect this connection here because it once was or could have been a beautiful connection but greed got in the way with this emperor so let's find out their karma so what is uh pearl free sex's karma for her in them spirit pearl free sex's karma ace of pentacles Nine of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Hmm. Mm. This energy could be overspending or having to um, overspend, you know, because if they're now having to support you, it could be they're lacking in funds there. Um, they could be making bad business choices here as well, you know. So at the moment, there is a bit, things are becoming stuck here. And it's funny, this the karma is their fi their finances here, their, their um, security here. This is someone that's become very power crazed with the King of Swords, like power hungry, but they're about to have a big, a big wake up call here. I feel like because they're so power hungry and they want more, 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 they're about to make a big, a uh, 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 big uh, boo boo here, basically. <laughs> Tell me more about this uh, King of Swords uh, karma. Three of Cups. Tell me more. Oh, oh. The King of Wands in reverse. This, because this person, like I said, they're about to have a rude awakening here, okay? Um, this person is very brutal when it comes to business with the King of Swords, okay? And can be quite forceful. And whether, I feel like they're going to end up peeing off the wrong person here, like a third party here, okay? Or a business business partnership or something to do with somebody else here there's a group of people here and they're about to really upset them okay they're going to be very forceful very rude um tell me about, oh, tell me about this king of wands in reverse It's like their greed has just got the better of them here. It's like they're just, I don't know, justice, karma, Libra energy. So we've got a lot of air sign here as well, fire, five of cups, seven of cups, and the page of cups. Again, four of pentacles on the back of the deck, not wanting to let go, you know, this is somebody that's very stingy, very uh, greedy. They're trying to hold on to <laughs> their coin here. But this is karmic justice here because of the injustice that, that the injustice that was 
calls to you know towards you guys we've got the five of cups again this is them experiencing you know grief and sorrow and heartache they're making bad decisions here it's like they're getting involved with multiple things at the moment you know um and it's going to backfire here and it's going to bring a lot of grief here because this person thinks that they're um that they're uh blah, 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 what's the word i don't want to use a swear word that they, they think that they're uh the bee's knees okay they think they're it okay they think they're above everybody else and this is the energy i'm picking up this person's got such a big ego okay they're about to have a, a wake-up call with the page of cups This is, a, oh goodness me, the karma is people going to start withdrawing invitations from this King of Wands in reverse. I don't feel people want to work with this person. I mean, you've got the King of Swords and then you've got the King of Wands in reverse and those two together are not, not a good pair, okay? Because the King of Swords is somebody that can be very narcissistic, okay? You know, is very controlling, very abusive, abuse their power, abuses the position that they're in. And this is the same with the King of Wands. So they're about to get this big wake-up call that's going to cause heartbreak, you know, and, and grief and sorrow and tears because of the per person that they are so somebody or somebody's because we've got the three of cups here is going to cancel having meetings with this person it is like literally invitation people are not going to be reaching out to them anymore for like you know get-togethers and business ideas and things like that you know that kind of thing that this is part of their karma i mean and in the middle of it we've got the justice card right there so any more karma for this uh energy here the x of card phrase thank you we've got five of pentacles wow so we've got the eight of wands as well wow So we've got the Five of Pentacles, the Tower, Six of Wands, the Five of Swords. This person's in for a huge, huge wake-up call, yeah. Their, their foundation, you know, their security and everything that they built up over the years is about to come crumbling down. This, you know, people are going to start turning cold towards this person, they're going to start withdrawing um business from this person they're going to be left out in the cold with the five of pentacles they're going to start um experiencing poverty that they've never experienced before okay because of their greed this is what karma is starting to do to them that i feel like karma wants to humble this person and whether they will or not i don't know you know this person fries for success they don't they don't care who gets in the way as long as they are winning all the time and you're not you're not going to be winning anymore with the tower here this has been a long time coming with the four of swords and this is going to be start this is either happening now or it's going to happen very quickly okay with the ace of what uh, with the eight of wands so let's get some messages from this energy to you I'm required. I'm sorry, but I wasn't into you and didn't have the courage to tell you. So, yeah, I mean, I don't see no love here from this energy from your ex. I see no love. I see love on your part, but this person was just obsessed with coin. Okay, maybe you made them look good. Maybe, you know, you're a bit of an arm candy. I'm pretty happy on my own and was fearful of it changing. I'm not really in a relationship type of person. It's best you move on. So, you know, maybe you've tried to fix it with this person, but they are emotionally unavailable, which we've already seen this anyway. And um, they won't be happy on their own very soon. So, let's get a couple more for you, my lovely card phrase. Immature. 
I was testing you to see if you would chase me. I wanted to see if you liked me as much as I liked you. Now I regret my actions. Um, forget the bit at the bottom there, okay? Because I'm using these cards for certain words, like certain sentences in them. This person is immature. We've already seen that. They think they're the king of, king of swords. They think they're the king of wands, but they really aren't. They're the page, okay? The page of cups come out twice. You know, and I feel like they love that chase. I feel like they love you begging them to be there because then it gave them this power that they abuse, which is the emperor. And, you know, oh, it makes me feel so big and my ego is so big, you know. Oh, God, pee me off. Narcissism, and I said that. I got what I wanted out of the relationship. It's always been about my own needs. <laughs> no shit, Joe, look. Too selfish to realise my actions hurt you. And exactly is what I was saying. They just did not give a crap about your feelings. So, I read my tarot cards to find out more about you. So this person could... We're looking at tarot to see what you're up to, but it could be you guys, okay? You know, you're here. <laughs> um, Baby steps, friends with benefits. So this person could be like taking baby steps to, I don't know, build their life back up or, but they could be dealing with friends with benefits at the moment because like this person said, I'm too selfish to be in a relationship. It could be now, my, my pile free. You could uh, be taken by someone now. Um, oh, wow. If I just turn over. I just said, I hate that you are taken. So you could be in a relationship, you know, started again. I fantasise that your current relationship fails. This person's sick. <laughs> so this is what they're telling you. So, a few more. I am not going after you. So basically, you know, we've already seen that anyway. I don't think they even gave a crap that you actually walked away from them, you know. There, there is no heart here. No heart whatsoever. No um, remorse in this reading. It's more remorse for themselves. So what's their karma spirit for hurting my pile free? Come on, get out. <laughs> They're going to go grey early. Uh, they will get fired from their job which we've already seen that people you know even if they own the company people are not going to want to work with them okay um never getting over heart so basically they're not going to get maybe they'll fall in love one day they won't ever get over that heartbreak or it could be maybe their heart was broken years ago and they've never got over it but just never told you all their secrets are about to be exposed so could be doing something dodgy when it comes to you know how they made their coin losing friends which we've already seen they will never find real love in this lifetime because they can't love they can only love themselves that's the sad thing they can't love anybody else they don't know how to People will talk shite about them. No success in anything. They will lose everything they've worked hard for. Look, this is affecting their their um, their um finances, literally. And that's funny how karma works, isn't it? It hits you right where you, you know, the thing that you value the most, okay? Like, say, if you hurt someone in a relationship, you know, abusive, you end up getting that. You know, finances, you end up getting that. But it seems to be tenfold, you know? Oh my goodness. They've got a lot of evil eyes sent their way. They've been tormented by the spirit guide, uh, guides um, for the way they treated you. No doors will open for this person and they will feel used. 
and people will not like them so you know same sort of thing really so i'm going to leave it there pile free you have a beautiful day and if you like this video please hit like appreciate you and um i'll see you soon bye